guys, so today I'm going to be reacting to hilarious instant karma fails. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Don't braid your horse's hair. She literally got a drink of water and then walked over to my boots and spit water in them. <laughs> was it the braids? Was it the braids? The horse was probably like, did you just braid my hair? I'm going to spit in your boots. The horse is vengeful. It is vengeful. Look at it. Look at its eyes. It's like, yep, I got you back. I got you back. This is instant karma. Don't park in a parking spot that's not meant for you. Motorcycle parking. <laughs> that person just doesn't care. He's like, this is where I'm supposed to park. Only for motorcycles. So I'm going to park here and let's see how you're going to get out. I would like to say congratulations to Sharia Cormier and Patrick Brown. They're expecting a baby. Hope you are really in love and I hope it works out. Always Patrick's wife, Demetria Brown. Did she just let everyone in the public know that her husband cheated? She is a savage. Don't park your car in a loading zone. <laughs> oh my gosh, how's that person going to get out now? Karma. I guess it's just karma. Don't try to take shortcuts. Wait, are they, are they stuck in the cement? I guess in life you just got to take the hard way. No shortcuts. <laughs> Don't piss off a woman. Scott Kelly has a small... Oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> Don't be that guy. Wait, what just happened? What happened in this parking lot? There were so many parking spaces. Why is everyone clustering in one space? <laughs> what happened? Or did one person literally crash like five cars? What? I'm so confused. What is going on in this picture? More, more explanation please. You're not special for reading The Great Gatsby. We all went to high school. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, just remember that all of the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. Okay, dokie, let's turn it down here. I was just making a joke. So was I. That's the first line of the book. What? I didn't read the book. <laughs> Wait, then what was the point of the status? You haven't read the book and you posted the status? What? They egged my girlfriend's house. Her dad caught them in the act and put them to work. <laughs> now they have to clean everything. Yes, karma, karma. When you want to ruin someone's property, you have to expect to pay for it, okay? Burger left bruised and bleeding by retired boxer 72. <gasps> oh my gosh! What? 72 and he could still box like that? That is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I am so amazed. That guy was trying to steal in his home. You picked the wrong house. I mean, you shouldn't steal in anyone's houses, but still, you picked the wrong house. I'm a thief. I stole a girl's phone from the Panera Bread I work at in downtown Evanston on Saturday. Unfortunately for me, I was arrested last night and the cops found the phone I stole and got it back to the girl it belonged to. <laughs> So I'm assuming the owner of this phone is posting this. Stupidly, I had logged in on the phone to Facebook and Twitter, so now the owner can tap whatever she wants on my account. Karma's funny like that, huh? <laughs> oh my god, instant karma! When you stole someone's phone and now everyone knows you're a thief. Everyone knows that you're a thief. Maybe this will teach you some honesty and you'll be smart next time not to take things that don't belong to you, idiot. This was the best one. <laughs> don't get into a bed with your spouse's sister. You shouldn't have f***ed my sister, Oh. So that person cheated with the sister? <gasps> what the heck? Don't leave your dog in the car. <laughs> the dog is peeing everywhere. Yes, don't leave your dog in the car, especially if it's super hot. Like, seriously, why? Why would you leave your dog unintended in the car? Don't dine and dash. Okay, I'm assuming that person probably didn't pay for their dinner or lunch. <laughs> Hi everyone, I was at a restaurant earlier today and had a lovely meal, but decided to run away without paying with my friends. Really? Someone made you that food? That was someone's salary and you're not paying? <gasps> that is so disappointing. It meant the owner had to chase them down and unfortunately trip over causing a broken nose. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting triggered right now. I'm kind of getting triggered. Why would you run away without paying and then causing so much trouble? Once returning to the shop with a bloody nose, the owner stumbled across my phone. He has it now. <laughs> Another one? Oh my gosh. How did I forget the phones? Like honestly, your phone costs more than a dinner bill. As he is kind, he is only asking for the money he is owed. Then I will be welcomed back to the restaurant to retrieve the phone. I would also like my friends to like this to show how disrespectful and cheap I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. Basically now all their friends will know that you're a cheap skate and that you ran away without paying. Like everyone will know that you are very disrespectful and this is what you are known for right now. <laughs> Paper cut, a tree's one glorious moment of revenge. <laughs> Have you guys ever gotten a paper cut so tiny but it stings so much? Like, paper cuts are the worst because they just sting like crazy when it touches water. I just hate paper cuts. Dear sister, as revenge for stealing my $20, I have hidden your project in one of these folders. <laughs> 
They hid their sister's project and now the sister has to go through every folder to find a project. And guess what? All of these folders have three subfolders. This will teach you not to steal from me. So have fun trying to find your project. If there's a lesson to be learned here, it's don't steal from a big brother. With warm regards and hateful loathing and vengeance, your loving brother, go die. <laughs> Oh my gosh, revenge. Karma and revenge. Today I was running and this minivan drove past me and some like 14 year old boy yelled out the window something like run fat and his mother turned the car around and made him run like five blocks with me while she drove next to us. <laughs> oh my gosh, the best parenting. I almost slipped from laughing so hard. And that's the kind of education idiot people need, seriously. Go mum, yes, go mum, teach your child. My cheating husband's in 129 row 31, seat 7 to 8. <laughs> well, that's it for that video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below which one was your favourite. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!